long service medals. This subject came up on, shall we say, another channel earlier. Firstly, let's make a few points about James Cleverly. James is a man who is not shy of sticking his pedal extremities in his mouth forcibly. His comments about sedating his wife are, well, I'm not going to mince words, they're idiotic and not funny in the slightest. However, his military service is something separate to that, and long service medals are a standard thing in many countries for military service. They are awarded after so many years in many, many militaries. They're not something new or special just given to James Cleverly. He didn't sort of invent them or make them with Poundland chocolates or any of this silliness that people are going on about. Here's some fantastic comments from Simon Webb's channel about them, made by the same company for online African qualifications. <sighs> person who wrote that obviously has no qualifications one might think and a brain the size of a peanut in this silly woke phrase we are enduring it's obvious they give awards for corruption failure embezzling lying and fraud the awards are for saying the right wording at the right time worthless apart from it highlights the cowards the person who wrote that has managed to use so much bad spelling and so much poor grammar in a three-line post, that if I was to sit there and correct it, I would be there for about 30 to 40 minutes. He's managed to, oh, let's see, no apostrophe on it's, um, an extra space after an apostrophe, lying is misspelled, another extra space after an apostrophe, use of ellipsis in a very odd way, etc. Probably like many fraudulent jerks, they buy them off eBay, except eBay has become E with a space B bay in this version. Here's a sensible comment from somebody. There's a lot of people currently in the armed forces who only have the Jubilee medals. It's not their fault if they actually haven't been deployed. While I have no time for Crescent and Dick, I've met cleverly, and in his capacity as an officer in the Army Reserve, he's an okay guy. I've met much worse. The point is neither of them are doing anything they're not entitled to. It isn't also done by many other men and women throughout the armed forces. That's a rather more reasonable sort of comment. I'm going to share a screen about long serve medals, although this is a kind of fairly lengthy topic and would take some time to go through. Medal for Long Service and Good Conduct. The Medal for Long Service and Good Conduct Military is a medal awarded to regular members of the armed service. It was introduced in by King George in 1930 and replaced the Army Long Service and Good Conduct Medal, as well as the Permanent Forces of the Empire Beyond the Seas Medal. As you can see, it wasn't introduced just to reward James cleverly with medals covered in gold foil, brought down little three days ago. This is getting very, very silly, this sort of stuff. These sort of medals are handed out in quite large quantities to people who have a number of years accrued. They're just stat handed, given out because people have time accrued. It's really rather silly to listen to people waffle on about them, using them as a kind of attempt to make someone into a whipping boy, as though they haven't accrued anything. Yes, they are not gallantry medals. They're not the Victoria Cross. They're not a military cross. They're not, you know, the DF's Distinguished Flying Cross or something similar. But they do recognise that the principle of an army is that people get off their bottoms, get out of bed, turn up and do the job. And if they don't do that and don't show that commitment, well, there's not much of an army or an armed service to really boast about. Oh, it's really very, very silly to hear people going on about them as if there's some big deal or as if, as if it's sort of some undeserved thing. Since you have to serve for a considerable number of years to get them and you don't just walk in the door and get them, it's a laugh to hear people like Simon going on about them. Let's read the conditions, shall we, for them. The Medal for Long Service and Good Conduct may, which you may be awarded to members of the UK Armed Forces who have completed 18 or later 15 years of reckonable service. Now, James Cleverly also has the Efficiency Medal. I'm going to have to look that up. I, I believe it's awarded for soldiers who have sort of... Um, 
a reasonable amount of st time served and had considered to have done a good job. Let's see. Oh, yes, here we go. The Efficiency Medal, it was instituted in 1930 for award to part-time warrant officers, non-commissioned officers, and men after 12 years of efficient service on the active list of the militia of the Territorial Army of the United Kingdom or of the other auxiliary military forces throughout the British Empire. At the same time, a clasp was instituted for awards to holders of the medal on completion of further periods of six years of efficient service. So presumably, since James has about 30 years service, he presumably has clasps on his as well. It really seems very silly to keep beating on James like this. If we want people to, for, to join the uh, British military, which is has an under is underrepresented in terms of people from ethnic minority groups, doing this is not really a great way to encourage it. It just seems like mockery and sneering. I don't think of James cleverly as the world's most efficient or able politician by far, but since he's put his money where his mouth is and he's willing to sort of serve the country in the military, that deserves a certain amount of respect. What it doesn't deserve is this kind of sneering when he's awarded the same sort of um, decoration for doing it as anybody else who served for that period. Yes, people who serve in the military often regard these as it's sort of, you got one for turning up. It's a common view of them. But as I point out, if people don't turn up, well, there isn't any military. If no one turns up to run the thing, it doesn't exist effectively. It would be nice to see this sort of thing stop and for Simon to actually accord people some respect for serving it. And Simon, while you're there, if you're doing that, tell us what military branch you served in, please. Your, your call.